here, good evening chocolate lover, welcome to Chocolate TV episode 202. It is the 7th of July uh, 2014, uh, we've been doing this for four years and today I thought I'd try, it is humid and hot, uh, hot for Swedish standards, so it's about 28 degrees Celsius uh, and it's been very humid uh, and the sun has disappeared because there are thunder clouds forming over there. So suddenly it's very grey and dark and, and what chocolate to eat on a hot, humid uh, and suddenly grey and dark day? I don't know. So I uh, put my hand in my uh, chocolate bag, which I have in a cupboard over there, and uh, got this out. Uh, this is uh, the Granada Chocolate Company from Granada. Uh, they're 100% cocoa. Let's try it. We haven't tried that one before. And it is uh, uh, ecological uh, ingredients, cocoa beans, uh, manufactured in a, fa uh, uh, in a factory, in an industrial uh, surrounding that do not uh, contain milk, uh, gluten or nuts. So this is really good stuff for uh, uh, those who are extremely er allergic, extremely allergic. So this is uh, Grenadian Tunitano cocoa beans, uh, and it is nothing else but 100% cocoa. So there is no cocoa butter in this one. I don't know actually. I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say anywhere. It doesn't. Ingredients. Organic cocoa beans. That's it. But surely, a cocoa bean contains a lot of fat, so if this is made only of cocoa beans, you can say the cocoa mass is about 50-55% and uh, the cocoa butter is 50-45%. Uh, uh, I think that's the usual uh, distribution. But, okay, this is 100% cocoa, nothing else. Uh, look at the color. Trinitario uh, is a bean that uh, delivers dark brown uh, chocolate with a kind of reddish tint. Uh, Criollo is another bean. It uh, delivers even more reddy, uh, reddish, 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 more in even more redder uh, cocoa. And Forastero is the, is the third, what you say, branch of, of beans uh, that. And that delivers more of a, a very dark, almost black chocolate. So, uh, nice, very dark uh, brown with a reddish tint. Good, crisp sound when you break it, even if it is actually so that hot today. So that means it's a good mold, a good uh, high content of cacao or cocoa. Uh, Good crystal structure on the break, and let's see what kind of <sighs> scent do I get? Flavors. There's a hint of, uh, uh, I'd say, green and red fruit. And with green fruit, I mean, uh, we're talking lime, we're talking mandarin orange. With red fruit, I mean red currant, uh, wild raspberries. There was a, a dry component. Uh, I attribute that to the high cocoa count. But it, it is kind of fruity, kind of citrusy, kind of acidic nose. Nice nose. Let's try it. For my palate, 100% cocos often are soapy, actually uh, Tasting soapy and uh, 
behaving like soap in your mouth. Really gooey, yucky, bitter stuff. This, it is bitter. But it has a lot of acid on that bitterness. I wouldn't say it's, it's like grapefruit. It's more like... I got some lime skin, lime peel, uh, lemon zest, and I mix that with some very, very, very acidic uh, component like, I don't know, a really sharp white wine. It's kind of gooey. It doesn't melt that quickly. It doesn't melt that easy. Uh, there's no cream, but there's more like, hey, I'm going to stick here and I'm dry. Dry as if you put a piece of velvet in your mouth and chewed on it. That kind of dry. And that kind of mouth feel as well. Still, there's a lot of acidity with that extremely high bitterness. And that makes for a very, very long back end. And the tongue actually gets almost like sandpaper. There are notes of Strong black tea, coffee grind, almost kind of a little bit of a, a tar component as well. Hmm? But it, it's quite interesting and it's quite nice for being 100%. I have had a lot more 100% chocolates that are not that uh, pleasant on your mouth, uh, even if it didn't sound pleasant, it was fairly good uh, mouth-wise. Uh, Taste-wise, acidity, uh, tartness mixed that up, uh, a bitterness, and, and yeah, uh, I say this is a 7 out of 10, and remember I am not a fan of extremely high cocoa, uh, but this one is really good. Uh, and that's it. For today and hope to see you next week when we chug out another episode of chocolate tv the only recurring internet show about chocolate reviewing